Okay, this one, this one I love. I'm like, whoop, whoop. this one makes me happy. You're gonna see why. Okay. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about my members, either my Bolo Buddies members that are members of my YouTube channel and they have joined for perks, or just members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group who are just members of the group. Um, either way, you are welcome to share a bolo in the Facebook group that looks like this. There is a share post and it changes every month. The color will change and what it says will change, but there's always a share post. And if you share, your bolo will be featured in a video like this. If you're a Bolo Buddies member level two on my YouTube channel, you will get a shout out or a mention in this video. I will pop up your eBay store or your YouTube channel, and I will also link you down in the description of the video. So if you're interested in memberships, awesome. If not, no worries. You can still share a bolo and you just head over to the group and share. All right, let's get started here with some big money bolos. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The first one comes from Bolo Buddies member, eBay store, Thrift and Style 1156. And this is what she found. And I just love this because number one, it's plush, it's a toy, it's so cute, and I love it. She said, I found this adorable little Malig, M-A-I-L-E-G. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Big sister mouse at the Goodwill Benz. Three inches tall. These are handmade dolls, more exclusive. So basically, as per weight, the cost was nothing. Sold for $35 in one day. Never seen this. Little ballerina, big sister mouse. This is what it looks like. $35. All right. Found these at the Goodwill for $4.50 and sold on auction for $202.50. Buyer already paid. And these are Cry with an E on the end. Cree, maybe? Precision Combat Pants. 34, 34R. Extremely rare. $202. That was an auction style on eBay. Wow. There was another pair of pants. Um, it was another brand that I had never heard of that somebody shared, and it was in another video. So definitely stay tuned because I'm learning a lot about these different uh, pants and brands. This one is another one that is probably going to be like, you're going to be checking to see if your socks are on after I tell you about it. You know, it's going to knock your socks off. Uh, YouTube channel Double T's Treasures, and she is a bolo finder, and she's got some great YouTube reseller content, so go check her out. A clear silk tinted, paid 99 cents each, sold in a day or two, found at a consignment store. You guys, it's tinted acne cream, and she sold it for $74.97. <laughs> Do you love it? I love it. Do, are your socks still on? All right. That joke might be getting old. All right. <laughs> Paid $6 at the Goodwill in Florida while on vacation. Sold in a couple of days. It is a World War II vintage army wool uniform shirt. And it sold for $58.97. And that was also from Double T's Treasures. And her third bolo was from American Thrift Store. She paid $5.99 for it. And it sold in three weeks for $48.97. It's an under the cabinet CD player. Ah, so I was just talking about in a re another video under the cabinet items like um, the can openers and the different things. And I didn't think about a CD player. Very cool. My daughter found this ornament at the Goodwill. She said, let's get this one. I was hesitant at first, but said, sure. I listed it for buy it now of 65 and it sold within 30 minutes of being listed. I paid $3.09 for it. 
The ornament is He's Mr. Heat Miser, The Year Without a Santa Claus, 2018 Keepsake. If it sold in 30 minutes for $65, she either had it priced just right, somebody had it on their watch list, or she undersold it because 30 minutes is a quick sale. So definitely be on the lookout. Okay, this one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. This is his eBay store, and he is a mega bolo finder. When I say mega, I mean, whoa, this, this guy can, he can find the bolos. He bought this one at an estate sale for $75, and it sold for $760. It is a Jan Barbalugili Metal Lucite Floor Vase, rare limited edition, 25 inches, bam. Wow. Here's another one. He paid 40 and it sold for full price. Another estate sale find. Do you want to know what full price was? $450. It's a, probably going to say this wrong. Back, back back <laughs> Sorry, Christopher. Sorry, Christopher. Uh, I feel like I should know this one. It's B-A-C-C-A-R-A-T, Baccarat, Black Crystal Labrador Retriever Dog Figurine, made in France, mint with the box, and this is what it looks like. All right, the next item is this Prada nylon boots with lots of heel wear and ripped off Velcro straps. <laughs> what? Accepted an offer of 230, which is US dollars, approximately 260, Bought at a thrift store for 15 May have undersold, sold within a week. So I'm not sure which country these were sold in, but uh, vintage Prada, huh? Definitely don't use the word Velcro, you guys, in your listing. Not in your description, not in your title. Hook and loop, okay? You will get a violation if you do. Okay, my cousin was cleaning out her shed gave me these to sell for her. I had them listed for several months with little or no interest. After you, Courtney, mentioned the key term Y2K in some of your videos, I revised and added that and they sold overnight. Woo! <laughs> Thanks. Love your Facebook group and your YouTube. Thank you for the shout out. That is amazing. Uh, these are Oakley Dispatch uh, sunglasses and they added Y2K to the title. So it works, you guys. Um, this is the video he's talking about. Uh, this one was actually on Y2K clothing, not sunglasses, but um, Y2K, if it's in that time frame, you can use that word in your title and people are searching it right now. It is a trending keyword for titles on eBay, so definitely use it. Love it. That is awesome. That makes me feel so good when you guys tell me that you found something because of something you saw in one of my videos or a change you made because of something I said. Thank you so much. Um, bought, in, uh, bought in the Goodwill, paid $4, learned about this bolo a while back, never thought I would find one. It was listed in an auction, sold, buyer didn't pay, then relisted, buy it now, then auction again. After about six months of lowball offers, got one for $2.75 and took it. Yeah, you know, it seems like there's just certain items that people bid on them and then they don't want to pay. That happens to me with my scream masks. I'm like, would you stop buying my item if you're not going to pay for it? Because I just have to wait the five days and then I have to relist it and then somebody else is going to buy it and not pay me and blah, 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 blah. But they all eventually sell those scream masks. But she didn't sell a scream mask. That's just me um, going off on my problem. Um, this is a vintage Baby Morgan thermal blanket balloons waffle weave satin trim. Satin trim. Put it in your title. Very important. The ones, the Baby Morgans with the balloons, they do do better. They do do. Um, but Baby Morgan in general, look for that tag. If you see a Baby Morgan, look it up. Most of the time, they are big money bolos. And if you just can't stop looking at my earrings... <laughs> Let me tell you about them because I wore them because I love them, but I got to tell you about them. Okay. They are owls. And I was at a whatnot auction, not just any whatnot auction. I was over at primetime treasure hunters, whatnot auction. And his wife was showing these super fun owl earrings. And I was like, 
no, no, those are mine. And everybody's probably like, those are so not her. She is like, not that crazy. I'm like, oh yes, I am. And I bought them. I can't, I'm trying to show you. Do you see them? Like they have like purple eyes and feathers. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. I need to pull my hair up so you can like really see them. And I need to wear like a solid shirt. This has too much detail. So it's taking away from like the awesomeness of these earrings. Anyway, go follow Primetime Treasure on, uh, I think he's Primetime Treasure on Whatnot and Primetime Treasure Hunter on YouTube. Um, I think he took Hunter off on uh, Whatnot. So follow him on Whatnot. If you're not following me on Whatnot, follow me there because I am selling on Whatnot. Um, if you have questions about Whatnot, you can uh, private message me. I'll let you know. Any, any questions, I can answer the best I can. I'm not an expert yet, but I am loving it. Um, so there is a link down below. You can follow me. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. If you use that link to join, you're going to get $15 to shop. $15 free money with my referral link down below. So definitely use that and join and follow me. And even if you don't buy from me, just come hang out in the chat. I want to talk to you guys. That's like a time that I go live and I can, you know, communicate with the chat as much as I possibly can. It's kind of hard showing stuff and I don't know how these people do it. Oh my goodness, but it's so fun. If you want to sell on whatnot, there's another link for that. And that's a referral link that will say that Bolo Buddies referred you. So you may have a better chance of getting accepted if you use that seller link. So even if you already used a buyer link, you can use that seller link to apply to sell. So what do you think? Do you like my earrings? Are they me or do you think they're just a little bit too crazy for me? I love them. I think they're so fun. They're owls. Woohoo. Okay. I bought this at a local flea market in Harrodsburg, Kentucky for 15. Sold for $149.99 on eBay before a 20% holiday discount. I still netted near $100 after discount and fees. It's one of those um, electric fans. Uh, I think they're scary. I'm like, that is just like too much openness and too much metal. Like, what if my finger gets in there? Um, but anyway, they do sell. They are big money. This one sold for $149.99, and this is what it looks like. Bought this off Amazon for $30. Oh, and before I go on, um, back to Primetime Treasure. His wife is doing jewelry, but he is doing comic books. So um, if you guys are into jewelry or comic books, definitely primetime treasure. Okay. Follow them on whatnot. And I love that his wife is doing it. I'm like, you go girl. She's doing awesome. She did incredible. So follow them over there. Bookmark them, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know the whatnot terms. Okay. I know like somebody's like, you're supposed to be like, this item is fire. <laughs> I'm like, I am not doing that. I am not. What was the other things? Um, there's all these like whatnot things that people say. And I'm just like, all right, guys, here's my item. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to say something is fire. I just can't. <laughs> like it makes my face red thinking about it. Okay. Bought this off Amazon for $30 and flipped it on eBay in a couple weeks for asking price of $119.99 plus shipping. Um, this one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters, and this is his eBay store. And it's a uh, Sega Saturn B-button arcade pad. It's wireless controller, so be on the lookout. Okay, here's one of mine. And, you know, I did a really bad job of posting this month. Usually I remember to post, and I kind of forgot. So uh, this one popped up, and it's kind of like an unexpected bolo. Not a huge money one, but definitely something that I picked up kind of on a whim at the Goodwill Benz, thinking, I think I can sell this, but I don't know. I don't even know what it is, really. And it is, um, what I wrote is, not my highest sold, but definitely my most interesting. Got it at the Goodwill Benz, so less than $2 sold for price and photo. YouTube channel bolo, to, bolo Buddies for more bolos. This is what it looks like. It's a Herit Model RSB Wood Grips Genuine Herit's Grip. So it's like a, a grip. I don't know. But it sold pretty quick for $52 plus shipping. So I dug that out of the Goodwill bins. So you just never know what you're going to find at the Goodwill bins. Hallmark Legacy Cord. Bought at a thrift store for $2, sold on Facebook Marketplace for $125. But they consistently go for over $200 on eBay. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a book 
or if it's a game, this is what it looks like. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'm sure a quick Google search would tell me, but I don't know. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, Rhonda. She is a moderator of the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So if you go over to her channel, first subscribe and then thank her for being a moderator because the Facebook group is massive and crazy. Um, if you guys join the group or if you're in the group and you ever see any mean comments, please click on those three dots and report. Or if you're on your phone, you can just hold down and report. Uh, we don't tolerate or want anybody to be mean in the group and we need your help because it's almost to 80,000 members. So thank you so much for those of you that uh, report things. So got junk in our trunk, purchased this and seven others for $5 each at a yard sale and sold this for a best offer of $150. It is a original handmade Steinbach Volkskunkst, <laughs> Volkskunkst uh, nutcracker and it's a lumberjack made in Germany and this is what it looks like. Yeah, that's Steinbach, I've heard of that. I think I've sold Steinbach, okay. Hey guys, my name is Abigail and I have a YouTube channel, Abigail's Artful Abode. I actually just finished filming a huge haul video. All my videos are huge haul videos. And today I'm coming to you with a bolo, two bolos. So this is a knitting basket. These are pretty easy to find. I paid $5 for this and this sold for $45 within the week on Etsy. These are like workman uh, jumpsuits, like a mechanics jumpsuit. And these are really hot right now with the young ones. And so I picked it up for $15 actually at my local um, auto parts store. They had a rack of like recycled ones and it sold on Etsy within two months for $68. Okay. This one, this one I love. I'm like, whoop, whoop. this one makes me happy. You're going to see why. Okay. I saw these vintage 50s angels in the bins. I picked out all four angels, each one holding one letter of Noel. One of them was whole and three were broken. Courtney said a broken item can still sell. So I went ahead and found all the broken pieces in the bin and bought them all. <laughs> Guys, I'm loving this. Um, I took them home and repaired them. I listed the two broken ones for $17.99 each and showed close-ups of the repairs. I put the good one up for $19.99. One couldn't be salvaged. I sold the two broken ones early on this week. I took a best offer on the last one for $14 since it was so close to Christmas. I made $49.98 on my 50 cent purchase. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see what these look like. Okay, so we got this one right here. And then we got this one. And we got this little cutie. Do you love it? Do you love it? I love it. So thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. I pulled a... um. So Jim Shore, I think it was a Jim Shore nativity figure out of the bins and his hand was broken and part of his sleeve. And would you know what? That thing sold like so fast. And I was like, they didn't see it. Even though I disclosed it and I showed pictures and I wrote it in the title, they didn't see it. And um, I messaged them and I'm like, hey, I just wanted to make sure that you saw that the item was broken. Da -da 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 -da. And they're like, yeah, I know. I'm like, okay, sweet. I mean, I only sold it for like nine bucks, but still, I mean... It sold. I just love when I can bring things to you guys that you're like, there's no way that's going to sell. And then I sell it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. I'm in rare form tonight. Sorry, guys. Bought this antique beveled mirror vanity tray for 10 at a garage sale this last spring. It just sold on Etsy for an offer of 130. This one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. And you talk about, see that? <laughs> that's something flying. Um, Talk about another bolo finder. Uh, she has a storefront. She is incredible. And I have actually featured her store in a Bolo Buddies YouTube video. Not her store, but her eBay store. And um, she's just incredible. So definitely check her out. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. But this is what the item looks like. It says antique Victorian plateau mirrored dresser vanity tray with brass filigree footed base. Bam, 130 bucks. 
bought two Christopher Radko cookie jars and one Christmas tree for $10 each. The tree sold last week and the cookie jars sold today to the same buyer for $95 each on eBay for a total of $190. Now I need to find boxes. Oh, that's the worst. So one little tip that I have for you guys that I do, if I have breakables, and a lot of people will not recommend this, um, they actually think it's dumb <laughs> that I do it, but I'm one of those people like, I want to have the box ready and I want to know how much it weighs and what the dimensions are because I'm not really great with breakables. Now, I imagine people that do breakables all the time are probably more confident putting in those measurements and those uh, the weight just based on their experience because I don't sell a lot of these things. I'm more like small toys and stuff like that. Those are easy for me. I can figure out shipping on that like piece of cake because I do it all the time. I would take this cookie jar and I would wrap it and I would put it in a box and I would label the box and I'd put the exact measurements in and do calculated shipping. That is what I do. That's what I recommend you do if you are a new seller. Now, where you're going to run into a problem is if somebody decides to buy two items from you and that's one of them, you're going to have to rebox it. But at least you know your shipping is calculated correctly and you're not going to lose money on shipping. So again, that's just how I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way, but if you're new, it's going to keep you from taking a chance of maybe not charging enough for shipping and then that's going to come out of your profits. So this is a vintage Christopher Radko Christmas tree cookie jar holiday right there. That's what it looks like. And these are all, um, that one was from Abigail's Artful Abode also. And then also this one is from her. Bought this not antique lion clock in September at a local market called Thrift Apalooza. I love it. For $5. And it just sold on Etsy for $139. That's great. European Regency style regal black lion elaborate gold mantle clock. Fancy. Bought this cookie jar and a few more amber pieces for $5 at a yard sale. She just wanted it gone. Took a best offer of $60 for the cookie jar. This is what it looks like. I'm going to try to read what this says, but it is very, very small. Um, I will blow it up for you guys, but it looks like the cookie jar is actually amber also. So, yeah, I can I can make this bigger for you guys. Paid $7 at the Goodwill and there were no comps out there. Looked up similar things and decided to set my price at $170. few weeks later, I accepted an offer of $130. It's an Aragon isolate, or, yeah, isolated power supply. How many of these have I passed by? I have no idea what this goes to, but $130? Are you kidding me? Wow. This is what it looks like. It's some sort of power supply. I feel like I see stuff like this at the Goodwill bins. I did actually the other day, um, I picked up a charger. So, you know, the black box and it plugs into something. I don't know what it plugs into, but usually it'll have numbers on it. And it was in the original box. So I knew it hadn't been used. I bought it just because I want to try it. I want to see if I can sell it. Paid 33 last day of an estate sale and sold it for $595 with free shipping. Uh, brand new in, brand new in box, vintage, ooh, Guerlain Fleur de Feu, two-third ounce bottle. I am guessing this is some sort of cologne or perfume. Okay, so can we sell perfume, cologne, vintage on eBay. I just did a whole video on this, you guys. And um, if it is brand new, you are fine. But you need to go watch that video because I did a lot of research. I talked to eBay. I um, pulled uh, things from my videos, things from my Facebook group, examples of people who have had issues and why they've had issues, what is allowed and what is not allowed. So this is what that video looks like. Please go watch it if you sell perfume. Um, keep your store safe. Uh, again, you know, it's up to you if you want to continue to pursue selling perfume, but there are guidelines that you need to follow um, if you're going to do it, and they're pretty strict. So definitely check that out. Okay. We are at about 25 minutes. My goodness, that went fast. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know which item was your favorite bolo. And if you made it to the end, comment below. I made it to the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Ah.
let's try that again. The first bolo comes from 